Lord save me. Or be like that publican in there when he was praying with the Pharisee. Say he smote on his breath and said, Lord, be merciful unto me, a sinner. God is just looking for me. A contract, a broken spirit. When I'm broken away from me, when my heart is shattered, and all I've got is pieces, and I can't get them back together myself, when I take them to God, He can put the pieces back together. And if we can't get them to Him, He will come and get the pieces. Yes, He will. I think every, 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 every kind of business you have, have what they call, if you can't get to us, we'll come to you. I know for windshield, there's one that MS Glass or some of them. If you can't get to if you can't get to us, we'll come to you. And God works the same way. If you can't get to me, I'll get to you. First of all, when the heart cries out, when that heart is really crying out to God, he stops the man and he stops. Zacchaeus climbed the tree. Wanted to see who Jesus was. But by the time he got in that tree and the Christ, Christ got there, heart and mind of the man was in a different and in a different direction. And God walked to that tree to stop with a mile around him. But at this particular point, he stopped. He didn't look at the crowd, but he looked up at a man in a tree. Come on down. This is your man. Hallelujah. The man, Amen. when your heart gets right, yeah. you can stop God in the middle of a crowd. The blind man cried out through a multitude. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Again, God stopped. See what you can do with a, with a, with a heart that's focused on the Lord. Right. You can stop the Lord, the God of glory, when your heart is right and crying out to Him. The sense of God, there is something about it. When He answers, your situation might not go away. Think about it. But all of a sudden, even in the midst of it, and sometimes it doesn't work, there's a peace. That's right. There's a serenity. That's right. Hey, it's going to be all right. And this is what God is trying to bring us to. After we have suffered a while, after we have been shaken a little bit, say so he's going to settle us and then establish us. Settle us down into that peaceful form. And this is what God is trying to do with every life that's in here. Letting us know of an assurance that if you can't get to me, I'll come to you. Wherever you are, there is no death. When your heart cries out from the position that you're in, I'm there to answer the question. Simple as that. Thanks to God, and I tell you what the Word of God tells us: I will keep him in perfect peace, yes. whose mind is in me, yes. whose mind is focused on me, whose mind says, no matter what, my God lives, my Redeemer lives. I know my Redeemer lives. This is what Job was saying in the middle of a fire that it, it seemed like it was going to burn forever. But he said what? I know my Redeemer is there. He said, though the skin worms might eat up what I, what I got here, though I might have to go through something, though I might be devoured in this situation, one day I'm going to see the Lord with my own eyes and not through the eyes of the Lord. We are being taught. Yes. And we are being preached to. But saints of God, we have to get to a point that we can see God through our spiritual eyes. Sure. Our preachers and our teachers are positioning you. So God, so you can see God for yourself. Right. I don't think Pastor Grace wanted to, want to hey, hey, well, no kids. 
that aren't independent. That's what she's working you toward. That's right. Independent. Every parent in here works to bring their child to an independent state. To stand. God is working up to be independent from this world. To stand. And we are trying to position everyone to a point in God. But the heart and the mind of each one of us has to come to a point. The woman asked, Lord, give me that wine, and I won't thirst again. The blind man asked, Lord, help me to see. What we should be asking, Lord, fill this hunger and this thirst on the inside. Lord, open my eyes so I can see. Lord, I'm lame and my God can move, but Lord, give me strength to move in the present of you and move toward you. God is not marked by time. There's no such thing as the distance too far. What do you need for the Lord? How far are you willing to go? Thanks of God and one of the things about it. Every one of these people, when something happened in their life, they went back to tell somebody else. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of God got in them. So that, what does that say? God went where the whole city was dirty. Amen. When God gets in you, you take it. Well, maybe I won't. You will take it where somebody else will go. Each one of you in this room, even down to the smallest of peace, smallest person in here, the baby back there. If filled with the Spirit of God, God is doing it to somebody into somebody's life in their presence. And this is what God is trying to do. Trying to feed a hungry soul some way. We speak of so many third world countries that starving, like us. The saints of God, I'm speaking of a world that is starving. And the word of God says there will be a famine. Wasn't talking about a famine of food, but a famine of the word of God. We're living in a starving world. And we don't have to use leave the United States for it. You don't have to catch a boat. You don't have to catch a plane. You live in a neighborhood, right? right. You go to a grocery store, right? Yeah. Prove to me the God that the Lord won't go any place where you are. Because, like I said, each one of you are witnesses that's carrying the Spirit of God wherever you are. The Spirit of God is right there. The, hey, what do you call it? In living color? <laughs> All right. All right. So see, if you're representing God, you've got to get your act together, too. Yes. Because yeah, I tell you what, no matter what, no matter how versed you are in Scripture, no matter how you can put forth the Word, if your life don't measure up, your Word will fall on death ears. Everyone, you're preaching a sermon when you're not saying nothing.